CBD2 is on 19 February and there have been many changes that have occurred to Watering Wave. So here I am informing the change they made. First of all, after the community feedback saying the word is visually dull, the dev has changed most of the word with more vibrant color and gives more visual change between each region aspect. And it makes a huge change in the environment detail and color scheme. Not only that, they also add the weather system making the environment even more alive. Next is the UI interface. From IGN Japan livestream, we have seen some upgrades in the HUD and menu. We also got a glimpse of controller UI, meaning that they have implemented controller support, just like what they had promised. I'm very happy with this one since I really like using controller. How about you guys? Do you prefer using a controller or a keyboard? Tell me in the comment below. After CBT1 testers saying that the story isn't quite as they expected, Kuro make a big move, changing 19% of their storyboard that they have made for the past 3 years in the span of just 9 months. We doesn't know what the change are yet until CBT2 comes, but I hope it will be much better than before and it will be worth their hard work. Additionally, with the change of the story, they also improved their animation and also made several more animation sequences for the storyline, making the story more enjoyable to watch and less monotonous. Furthermore, several old character designs have been changed and improved. Some got minor changes like our main character Ruver, while some have significant changes like Yinlin. They also put new idle animation to each character giving them more personalities, like how Jiyuan kid small jumping animation or Sanhua trying to smile. Next up, we have a gameplay adjustment, starting from the running, dodging, and pairing animation that has been adjusted to be more fluid than before. Characterization and liberation, aka ultimate attack, now have better animation and are more dynamic than before. QTE is changed into intro and outro skill that each character have independently, and character skills are much smoother now and are easier to control. On the other side, they have also improved the Echo system. If you don't know, Echo is the catch them all Pokemon in this game. They are used to increase our character stats and also as a skill. Some are capable of pairing boss monster attack making even more diversity in the combat system. After capturing them in the open world, you can get the same echoes in the taste field, making the grind much more easier. The best part is that they put a rare type echoes that is equivalent to shiny Pokemon. I can wait to catch every single one of it, especially the turtle one. Lastly, it is about the gacha system and pity mechanic. Now, it was a leak from the Chinese beta test, and since I don't want to get Kuro bad side, I'll just say that the PT is so much better than in CBT1. Overall, looking at how many change and improvements they did, Kuro have done an incredible job implementing input from the community in the past 9 months, and I'm sure that Watering Wave will be even better when it is released. Now my only hope is, please, Kuro give me a CBT2 invitation.